All right, not gonna lie, uh, I'm dreading this review, so it's kind of getting it out of the way uh, for this Munch Pack item. Um, as I mentioned several times on past reviews, I clicked the preference anti-sour. I am not a sour person, a sour fan of uh, you know the, the sour stuff. Never have been, always just kind of been repelled by that kind of stuff. Um, so I clicked the preference, paid the extra dollar to do so, and uh, a couple times Munchpack will throw in a sour item, you know, one, maybe two. This Munchpack they threw in two, so I'm going to try to get these ones uh, out of the way as much as I can, especially this one, which is just, it just turns my stomach. Just, and, and I understand what they're going for, the gross out thing, and you know, the kids love the gross stuff. Uh, I'm a child of the 80s, so I remember all the, the gross out um, stuff, even the green slime, the Nickelodeon stuff, and all that, and, uh, and I remember it, I get it, but now I'm in my 30s, and I'm not really uh, into that. Never, never was, even when I was growing up, I thought it was kind of disgusting. Uh, that said, I guess there's a market for this stuff. It's called Toxic Waste Goop Gum. <laughs> and this is actually uh, an American um, invention. Uh, looks like it's manufactured for Candy Dynamics, which is out of Carmel, Indiana. Uh, and uh, they have a website called ToxicWasteCandy.com, and uh, they play off the whole uh, toxic waste um, stuff. All their candy is toxic and you know, all this, but it's, it's just candy. And it's all sour, um, and uh, apparently they're good to the environment, the company. So uh, I like that uh, as far as that goes. But this uh, is just green, disgusting-looking gum. Uh, and I'm probably going to do kind of the same thing that I did with the, uh, the candy from the last Munch Pack, the one little sour green apple gel kind of stuff that I was given. I'll probably give it a small taste and then just throw it the heck away because I'm just, I just do not... This is just, it, it, it's turning my stomach just thinking about it, quite frankly. So, uh, if you have an opposite opinion, and of course, this wouldn't be around if people didn't, then uh, my apologies for not maybe being uh, completely unbiased in this review. Uh, it comes uh, in fours, it looks like. There are four different pieces, and they're in the shape of, looks like, toxic waste barrels. I kind of like that. That's kind of uh, neat. Um, yeah, and I'm really getting just that gummy, sour, it's very gummy, uh, smelling. Again, I'm not into that at all. Um, let me kind of put my tongue to it and get a taste. Yeah, bubblegum kind of, kind of taste to it. It's kind of hard. Really bite down here. Is this actual gum, or is it something you eat? Yeah, you know, the taste is not not that bad. I'm not really too um, hateful of the taste. I think it is gum. Yeah, it's gum. It's chewing gum. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, boy. All right, there's a little bit of a green goopy stuff in the middle of it. And that's where the sour part of it goes. Very sour. Hey, if you're into this sort of stuff, this is probably pretty good. Um, I, however, am not into it, but it's not really repelling me like I thought it was gonna be. Just the name and, the, and all that kind of stuff kind of just turn my stomach, but actually tasting it, it just tastes like like bubble gum, uh, and that's exactly what it is. So there you have it. That's toxic waste goop gum. If you like it, it's probably really good. <laughs> so thanks.